Hi, welcome back to educator.com. This lesson covers Office Open XML, which is the file format used by more recent versions of Microsoft Office. If you've upgraded to Office 2007 or Office 2010 in the last few years, you may have noticed some compatibility issues arise. For instance, let's say you upgraded at home, but your work hasn't upgraded yet, and you create a file at home and try to bring it in and open it up at work on an older version of Word or Excel or whatever it is you've created, you may find that the document won't open properly or you might need to download a plugin and even then maybe it doesn't work all that well. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at why that is. We'll be taking a look at the fact that newer docx files and other office files are actually zip files. We're going to be actually unzipping a Word 2007 document or even later, Word 2010, this works as well. And we'll take a look at the XML files that actually make up the current Microsoft Office file formats. To get started, let's take a look at the technologies behind the newer formats. As I mentioned before, newer Office files are zip files. Now zip, in case you weren't always quite sure about that, is what's known as a lossless compression algorithm. This means that it creates a smaller version of a file or a collection of files without losing any data. And it's meant to make things easier to store in smaller spaces. It also eases in transport of files over a network, that sort of thing. However, if you've used zip, you may have noticed that if you try to zip a zip file, it doesn't get any smaller. In fact, if you try to zip two zip files together, they don't get any smaller. The nature of the algorithm is such as that once it's been zipped, it can't be zipped again. If you've tried to email someone a rather large newer Office file, such as a large Excel spreadsheet created in Office 2010, you may notice that if you try to zip those, they don't get any smaller either. And again, to reiterate, this is because newer Office files are in fact zip files. So let's take a look at the ramifications of this. What we're going to do is we are going to create a Word document. And uh, we're going to see what happens if we change it into a zip file and unzip it. Now, if you try this with an older Word format, you'll find that older Word files are not zip files. If you change it into a zip file and unzip it, it's just going to give you an error or at worst create a big mess for you. You can only do this with newer Word format documents such as Office 2007 or Office 2010. So let's start with a blank Word document and put some content in it. All right, just to make things fancy, we'll put a little italicization in there. Okay, so here's a real basic Word document. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then what I'm going to do is close it. Now I'm going to do something very dangerous that everyone who uses a computer tells you not to do. I'm going to go locate my actual file now that it's closed. And I see that it's got a docx uh, file extension. This is in contrast to the .doc file extension from older Word formats. And it was done this way by Microsoft in order to emphasize the fact that these are two different underlying formats. They're not really compatible. Newer versions of Office will open older versions because they've created a separate section of the software that does that. But older versions of Office cannot open the newer versions without downloading some kind of plugin or other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the extension from docx to zip. And I'll get a warning. And I'll just breeze on past the warning and say, yes, this is how I want to do it. Now, if you're using a Mac, you may need to jump through some more hoops as far as what program you need to open it up with. Be careful not to open it because it's still open up in Word and do it correctly. If we're in Windows, we'll have an easier time of it. What I have, if I unzip this file and extract it, it turns out it's a folder.
All right, and let's take a look.